this is a really prolific herd of pronghorn antelope. We're, every year we uh, have a great reproduction out here on the Parker Mountains. This is a very well coordinated joint effort. Uh, we've got people from the northeastern region, the central region of the Division of Wildlife, uh, a lot of people from the southern region, which is where the trap is located. And then we also have people assisting us from the BLM and uh, the Forest Service. Yeah, and we, we even have somebody from the Park Service here. We have a unit of objective of about 1,500 animals, and so when we exceed that objective, we've got to reduce the animals. In the past, we've done that in two, two ways out here on the Parker Mountain. We've done it through uh, hunter sport harvest and, and and these two traps that we have set up. We're trying to move 200 on this uh, exercise. So we'll, that should put us right at about 1,500 and at that point we're thinking that next year we'll be able to control the numbers with sport harvest rather than having to trap. So it may be a few more years uh, before we have to do this again. Get animals on the ground as quickly as possible, okay? You get one on the ground, just stay down and keep your head down. Cover your head up and just stay down. animals are going to be transported to the central region and 50 of these animals are going to be transported to the northeastern region of the state of Utah. These transplants are designed in, in both of these cases I believe to augment the existing populations that are there that are just struggling a little bit. Both of, all of these areas I, I believe are below objective and they're just trying to bring them up and give them a little boost. It takes about 20 of us a full day to set up both traps and then uh, it takes us another full day to capture the antelope that we're looking for and then take the traps down. So it, it takes us roughly two days to get about 200 antelope. When we, in years past, we've caught as many as up, upwards of 400 and, and, and then that tacks on another day. But this trap's basically going to take two days for, for the manpower that we have here. One thing about the Parker Mountain is you have a lot of area that's ideal habitat for pronghorn antelope. You've got the low sagebrush uh, that, that they like, the black sage, and uh, it's just a really good place, and for whatever reason, uh, they just do really well out here. This is the most productive pronghorn herd in the state of Utah.